It's your heart. Thank you. I, uh, I've had so many blessings, and it's funny because when we talk about, I, and I'm not going to talk long, I'm going to play, but we talk about addiction, and my addiction was a giant hole in my heart. Now, I've been given two gifts in my life. The greatest gift ever given to me in my life is that my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, died on the cross Amen. for my sins Amen. so that I could have eternal life. Yeah. Second greatest gift ever given was my mother and father who gave me a Christian home where I went to church, where I was confirmed in church. I had a Christian foundation to fall on, to fall back on, so I could be a modern day prophet. That foundation of Jesus and our Lord let me come back. And I use a term which is kind of kind of contradictory. I went all in. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about Vegas. We talked about it, uh, gambling being, you know, a, a, a vice or something like that. But it's going all in. It's when I decided to go all in with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's when I did. That's when I did. So I'm going to play a song. I, I call myself a modern day prodigal. Lost but found. All right. But so I I play this song. You've heard it, but it, it's it's got power. I don't even think I need. I don't even think I need this, but. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
but he took me up and invited me to come be with you. I want to thank each and every one of you for letting me be a part of your church family today, letting me be a part of the fellowship of Jesus Christ. Um, I knew the minute I met uh, Pastor Charles that, that I had a brother in Christ, that I had, uh, uh, that the Holy Spirit had brought a man of God up three flights of stairs All right. <laughs> to our little jazz club, which we used to call Jazz with Jack, now we call Live with Jack. And one of the things was, well, how are you going to be a recovering alcoholic and, and sell drinks to people and or be in a place that serves drinks? And, but you know what? They're not alcoholics. I'm the alcoholic. I had to address this problem with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And he's removed, he's re removed the desire to drink. And he's given me a desire to serve. And so this is something that is so important to me. I love the state of Kansas. My son, Pastor Jesse, uh, I call this song I'm about ready to play for you a Thanksgiving song. There's not that many of them. And by the way, I brought some uh, I, I brought some holiday CDs from the band I play in. Our, my band is called Dot Zero. We've uh, got 15 CDs out, and we've we've had a, a very very long and uh, uh, blessed career. Uh, but I brought some holiday CDs, and uh, they're free. I would love everybody to take one that wants one. Um, and I'll I'll put them out somewhere where you can get them after the service. But this is a Thanksgiving song. In 2013. My son was pastoring a church 60 miles from here uh, in a little town called Maxville. Anybody know where Maxville is? It's the Maxville Christian Church. He started out as a youth pastor and moved his way into the head pastorship at a very, very young age. Matter of fact, he thought he was too young. And I, I told him, I said, Jesse, the, one, the, the best thing that could happen is that you could fail and you would learn from that. But he didn't. He did well. I was coming to visit him that Thanksgiving, the night before Thanksgiving, and I said a prayer on the way out. I said, Lord, it's been a long time since we've had the chance to play together. I'd really be, I'd really be happy if we had that chance on this trip. Well, I pulled, <coughs> pulled into the little parsonage where, where he stays, and we did our hugs and, and did our hellos. And, and he, he grabbed his acoustic guitar and he said, Dad, let's, let's go on over to the church. Let's, let's play a little bit. So he didn't have to ask me twice. <laughs> so we took our instruments, went into the sanctuary, and he started playing this song. And I looked at him and was going, dude, where, where did that come from? And he just shook his head as if to say, Dad, just, just shut up. Get your horn out. Something's happening here. Well, I did. I got my horn out. I looked up into the, into the balcony of the, the little sanctuary. Didn't see anything, but I felt something. And this melody was just there. I've never seen anything like it. I've never experienced anything like it. Long story short, if you ask Pastor Jesse if he wrote the song, I'll tell you no. If you ask me if I wrote the song, I'll tell you no. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But we got to be there when something incredible happened. Amazing. I'll tell you the rest of the story after you hear it. It's called Sanctuary.
It's a song that we call Sanctuary, and we recorded it the next day on Thanksgiving Day. And uh, in his little in his little parsonage, he's got a little home studio in there that he calls BTM Studios, which stands for Better Than Nothing. And, uh, so we started recording it. We decided to put it on the latest Ostero CD, and we were doing the credits. And it was one of those things where the song just seemed to be perfect, you know, because it was given as a gift. We realized it was given as a gift to share. And we had no part in it except to have been there when it came about. Amen. Our part in it is to share it and make sure that God gets the glory for it. Amen. But the problem was we there was something missing. It's kind of like you're you're pulling away from your garage and you got to like, close the garage door or something that you forgot. You, you just get it nags at you. We realized we called it sanctuary and we needed we weren't giving credit where credit was due. So we changed the name of the song. To his sanctuary, and when to give Almighty God the glory where the glory is Amen. deserved. Amen. So we say, Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you for this song. And thank you for letting me be a part of your church family on this Thanksgiving Sunday. I'll leave you with one of the things, one of the verses. I was we were playing this last year at Jazz in the Woods in uh, Overland Park. Um, near Kansas City, and a guy came up to me out of the blue after I played that song, and he said, well, what is your favorite, what is your favorite Bible verse? And I, and I went, whoa, that, it took me by surprise, and just without hesitation, I said, it's First Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18, rejoice yeah. always, uh -huh. yeah. pray without ceasing, Amen. dare I say, pray yeah. immediately. And in everything, give thanks to the Lord, for this is the will of God. That's right. In our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for letting me be a part of this church. The Spirit is so full here, it's overflowing. Amen. And I can Amen. feel it through and through. God bless you all. Thank you for letting me be a part of your Thanksgiving Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Good job, and thank you.